Today I'm presenting a Paris Instrument Zen Test PC 60-C Set Smart 7 in front pocket tester. This device is loaded with stuff. A smartphone app, replaceable PHEC combo probe, durable structure resistant tenements, fast response, accurate measurements, stable readings. Also, it comes with coded, color coded screens, AAA batteries, IP6 water resistance, auto temperature compensation, two year warranty. On top of that, it's manufactured to ISO 9001 standards. On the back, you see the marketing demonstration of its Zen software, graphs, and in addition to the ability to include notes into your readings. Also, you see the range, accuracy, resolution, and calibration of its pH, conductivity, TDS, salinity, resistivity, OPR, and temperature. On the other side, you'll see that the four AAA batteries will give up to 500 hours of use. In addition, all the other accessories that's included with your kit. What's nice about this kit is that it comes with a hard carrying case that's able to keep your instrument safe and protected. Now the kit comes with two electroconductivity standards and two pH standards and it comes with your storage solution for long-term storage. It also comes with a strap for your instrument. And it also comes with four testing solution pairing case. In addition, you have your tester instrument. We also include a laminated instruction manual for easy reference. And also includes your P60 manual. And last but not least, your quality certification. Let's take a look at your each tester instrument. At the tip, you have your in the blue, you see your pH meter. And the higher end, you'll see your electric conductivity probes. It also includes your nice safety cap, which has a marker line for your fill line, which I have never used before. And at the top, you can easily remove the battery, as so. The instrument uses four AAA batteries. You easily remove and push it with tab. Pressing the top button will turn on the instruments. Once you turn on the app, it will automatically pair. If not, you have to search and locate the instrument in the app only. Now the app is fairly simple and straightforward. You can control most of the measurements directly from the app. Now you don't need the smart app if you don't have a smartphone. You can control or gather most of the data directly from the instrument itself. In most cases, it's nice to have the app, but not always. Now the app logs information and displays information in various formats. Some, most of it I do not find useful. And the menu setting has different options for measurements, calibration, data, settings. And settings has a lot of full features that you may want to take some time to explore. Now when you get your device, you may want to take some time to calibrate it properly before you start using it. 
When you're in calibration mode, the screen turns green. Here I have all my calibration standards, my EC calibrations, and my 3 pH, in addition to my pH 10 buffer. In addition, I have all my tap water rinser. Now I find it's easy to use the smartphone to do the calibration. Oh, it might be nice to have a little paper towel to wipe down your tip of your probe. In this case, I'm calibrating my EC first. You have the option of calibrating either one, either solution first. In this case, I'm going to start with the 12.88 micro Siemens solution. Give this some time to just in some cases you might ha have bubbles in your probe so you might have to pick it up and twirl a little bit to get rid of the bubbles once you feel it's stable enough hit the enter button and it'll flash Once you're done, rinse it in the tap water and give it a little swirl. Take a paper towel and dry off the tips. When you're ready, proceed to your next EC calibration unit as such. The smart app is smart enough to know what calibration standards needs to be done. In my case, it's the 1413 Nano Siemens, which is flashing. Before you test, give it a quick rinse. Try off the tip. And test your next EC calibration standard. Give it a quick swirl to remove any bubbles and give it some time to calibrate. Once you feel the readings are stable, hit the enter button as such and it will start flashing indicating it's been calibrated. When you're ready, move on to the pH. Give it a quick rinse. Dry off the tip and grab your starting solution. In this case, for the pH tester, it always starts at pH 7 for the testing. Give it a good swirl, remove any bubbles. and hit enter when you feel confident. When you feel confident, move on to the next pH. It'll give you a flashing what other pH calibration standards that are available. In this case, it's low and high pH variables. So I'm going to grab my pH 4 for my next calibration. Give it a good swirl to remove any bubbles. When you feel confident in the numbers, press the enter button. And if you have another cal calibration standard for pH, more the better. In my case, it's the low pH, in this case, pH 10, which I have available. Give it some time to calibrate and stabilize. When you feel confident, press the enter button.
Of that, you are all ready and set. In my case, I'm testing my hydroponic solution, particularly the pH and the EC readings. Grab a little cup. Insert your probe. I'm getting 6.07 for my pH and about 2.25 for my EC, which is just about right for my system. Now you can toggle through the measurements from pH, conductivity, TES, salinity, resistivity. But for my general purpose, I only use pH and EC for my hydroponic system. Once again, thank you for listening. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in below. Thank you and peace out.